my pals, this is Happy Down for a Thousand coming to you with another movie review. Sorry, what's that? This is Happy Down for a Thousand with my friends coming to you with another, with another edition of American Review Anime Back, this time part 14. This is like the last one I'm doing for the night. And, uh, and I'm reviewing Cowboy Bebop again, episodes with 17 to 21. And here's. And so we go. So here's the. So we continue on with the adventures of the of the Cowboy Bebop crew. Ooh, Spike Spiegel, Jet, at Faye Valentine, Edward, and I in the space and high in the space corgi. And we start off episode seventeen, in with Heim. We start with seventeen with Edward. Edward, we're part of the Cowboy Bebop crew. Ooh, Edward, we're the level. A little teenage hacker, or and Spike's building the loose cannon, and and Jet being in the wise is tech, a, a guy, I uh, and Faye Valentine just being a party animal, uh, just, just, just giving giving character introduction for those who don't want, haven't uh, watched my previous one, but um, basically, basically the Cowboy Bebop crew who gets out of fuel. Ooh, and their ship crash lands on another planet, and and they basically like it's like a lot out of food and, and like jets like, hey yeah, we're uh, go get us some food somewhere, and, and basically, Edward comes across it's like this, this one um, this one like drug dealer or selling like mushrooms mushrooms and um, I find this guy is pretty funny anyhow. Uh, <laughs> Anyhow, like there's this one guy who's been tracking the drug dealer down. Where like he, he, he's been carrying this one coffin around him for like for like weeks, weeks, months, even, even. And he's like, hey, he's like, you know why I carry this coffin, you son of a bitch? This empty coffin. I'm gonna put you in this damn coffin, you bastard. For sure. For sure. And like, I love the of what happens on that when he just says that. At like a truck just just comes around and just destroys the coffin when I am running over it. Bring it, but um. This is very, very interesting though, where, where, where like the cops find and the cowboy who got crew, who, the, the cops looking for like the magic mushrooms and like the guy who Edward took them from originally, originally, and they're like, and they're like trying to plead the fist, saying we don't know crap about the, about the magic mushroom guy or the mushrooms, and like you think they're they're gonna get arrested for like having magic mushrooms? Like, nope, uh, the magic mushroom guy just gave them regular mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. Sure, they can give him the Um, the next episode, so we get a very interesting thing. Thing of, let's see where we are, and I, and I'm just kind of tired, so I'm trying to remember these rec precisely. Basically, basically, um, an hour. Basically, basically, we get and more exposition about Faye Valentine. And through like an old, old like you know those you know those time capsule videos where like send this to yourself in like ten years in the future. Yeah, they get one on like VHS, and apparently she was like frozen, frozen in tw in twenty eighteen. So apparently the the cow view I predicted we would still be using Betamax, Betamax, Max in twenty eighteen. And like and like around like around like I can assume like twenty ten. And very weird. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. You know um. You know, and then after that, uh, we get Spike Spiegel. He was getting tracked down by a, se a seemingly unkillable assassin who, whoever sees his face, dies. Uh, his, his name Poirot or something. And basically, we learn more about him and that he's a government experiment. And essentially, actually, I like the way the episode is. It's creepy throughout to some extent. And, and basically, it, it ends with uh, put this Poirot guy uh, having a panic attack getting squashed over. We're in the final battle. It'll take between her, Spike Spiegel and Poirot taking place at a, at a shitty amusement park in space. Basically, he gets stomped over or by a amusement park or, or a parade equipment. But then after that, that we get a jet teaming up up with a, with a daughter of, his, of an old friend of his. Is is thinking they'll find something something interesting. Interesting and valuable, like treasure, only to find, I mean, only for spikes, only for Jet and the daughter, 
for them for them to find the last words of his, of his old friend, and basically being like, "Look, look, look! These are my these are my last words to you. I'm sorry. For you. I've been such a I've been such a bad father, or to some extent." And essentially, actually, she's like, the daughter's like, all these years I've hated you. And like, now I get why. I, I, don't, I don't really hate you anymore. Or, but it's very interesting, though. Oh, like, it's it's very sweet. You were like, Jed is like, nothing really changed that much. Like, holding up, it was like, we're all like feng shui and horoscopes. Oops, to some parts of it. When it's like, it's just, just like, Nothing really changed after that, except I stopped reading the horoscope. But anyway, um, this was very fun on on series of, series of episodes. Um, very, very, very fun and, 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 and stories. Um, the characters were actually pretty good, and I think I'll give it was dinosaur approval. Well, and I'll give it if it roughly, roughly um, nine point three out of ten. And like mainly because I was slightly tearing up a bit yeah, at that letter that Faye Valentine set at uh, that video Faye Valentine sent herself for ten years later. Either where it's like she's like, You'll always have a part of me inside you. Is you is you never forget me. And like and she and she has amnesia, so that's just, just kinda like you're pouring salt in the wounds of her. So her so it's sort of like uh like old home movies of like a guy of a cripple. Who's like, uh, with the sun, like, we'll be walking like, in these, in these, these marathons forever, son. And it's like, like he's just crippled. <laughs> oh, and it's like, and it's just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Ever, 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 uh, it's just kind of, and it, it gets me. It's me with the irony. Irony. Irony can both very funny and sad for me. <laughs> but still, um, that, that's, that's my review. I thank you all for watching. Hope you have a happy night and a happy day. Whoever you want to be watching this, chomp chomp, and I'll see you later. Bye.